Lakes finesse drop minnow. This color is called Crush, and I put that Procure Smallmouth Magic scent, which is a special blend designed by me. Heck, I even designed this bait. Isn't it crazy that I can catch monsters on this set? Like, it's a pretty cool feeling. Whoa. We're going to talk about fizzing, because I think it's important to properly fizz these fish. So I'm going to walk you through how I fizz. It's all coming up. Let him do what he wants to do. I'm using that St. Croix Legend Extreme Medium Light 610 5 pound Cortland Master Braid, which is the best braid on the market by far. Dealing with these fish, drop shotting, finesse fishing. He's going to be a while. Let's see if I can get this camera ready as well. It's hard doing both. It's hard doing everything. Keep the line tight. Turn the camera system working here. I don't know. Probably six pounds. Six pounder. And so here's the deal. I fought him for a long time. And uh, his swim bladder. Oh, he's got a tag in him too. How cool. So he's gonna, he's definitely gonna need some fizzing. So I'm gonna put him in the live well here and show you how we do that. Crazy day. So we caught a lot of fish. I've been rotating between the drop minnow and uh, this guy here, the gajo uh, black, straight black. Spirit Shad. Uh, the drop minnow I just caught him on was called Crush, is the color. You know, when you end up catching these fish deep, they need to be properly fizzed. If you're going to let them go immediately, they should be okay. But if you're literally going to take a picture and weigh him, that's too long. He's just going to sit there and flop on the surface a lot of times and he's going to die. The seagulls are going to eat him. And so whether you fish tournaments or you're just fun fishing deep, you need to learn how to fizz. And my recommendations is I use the needles uh, produced and made by Barb Elliott. And I'm gonna put a link in the description below uh, about those needles and how you can get them. They're perfect. I have a bunch of them. They come with instructions and it's super easy. So let's go fizz this fish. Just get a weight on this guy too. Nice, six four, not bad. Okay, you can see when I open this up, he's on his side, and he's gonna need some help. All right, so here's how we do it. About the fourth fin, right in here, is where that, what we need to do. So we're gonna put this needle right about there, and poke it straight in, okay? Now we're going to put them in the water, you can see the air come out of them. And you just keep them in there until the bubbles slow down and he'll swim upright. Now he's good. He's happy. So that fish was tagged too. I actually wrote down the numbers. I'm going to give him a call. And if I get the information back before the time this video is out, I'll let you guys know the, the history of that beast. Alright, he's doing good. He's going to be able to go back. So let's 
let me share with you here. I have a little kit that says Fizz Kit, right? And if you open it up, there's actually instructions. So there's actually instructions on how to do it. I laminated mine. And like I said, I'll put the link in the description. But here they are. Real simple to use. You might want to get a few. They will go dull on you for sure. And I can't stress enough. That was a tag fish. If I would have taken the time to write down the information, to take a picture, to weigh that fish, it's not going back down. It will not. You may think it does, and it's going to hover, and it might be windy, and you're going to blow off your spot. That fish didn't come up to the surface. So I don't, you have to fizz them. It's almost probably going to be mandatory at some point here in tournaments where, uh, at least this is a rumor, where if your fish are on the side, they're going to count as a dead fish. Because it does take a lot of time for the volunteers to fizz those fish and make sure they're healthy. Uh, it's just something you have to start doing out here to help protect this fishery. Okay, let's get this beast back in the water and maybe we'll catch her another day. And away she goes. Yeah, I hope this video is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And again, you can find those fizz needles. I should have a description below. Also, if you're out here fishing deep, do yourself a favor. You need the Great Lakes Finesse Drop Minnow. I'm, I just caught that one on the uh, crushed shad color. They're really finessey baits that have really caught a lot of fish for me. I also use the Gajo Spirit Shad quite a bit. Like today, we we're catching a bunch on the, uh, the black color. And it's a great bait. And then of course, uh, I got unopened, but smallmouth crush magic. I just, I'll either marinate the baits or like for instance, I'll take this gajo here and I'm just gonna squirt a little bit on it and then rub it around and just give that plastic some actual real scent, scent that these fish are gonna, not, it's not every day you can just go out there, find a fish, drop on them and they bite. Sometimes they're very, very finicky and you have to let that bait sit there. And I gotta believe, listen, there's a lot of talk right now about scents I'm telling you, this stuff's tried and true. This stuff works. It's going to help you get more bites. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.